So let's say um, first we have to start with the, let's just go through the bright prep before we get to the mid tight stuff, right? You have to um, document the details, right? And you're doing that either, how do I, this is so annoying. How do I move this? You're doing that with, um, you're doing that with, uh, I, this is that full item room upon arrival, try to arrive 30 minutes early. Yeah. Um, understand the phase you're in, it's important. This is why when I walk in, I'm like, what the is going on? Like, cause you have to understand what's going on, right? You can't just show up and just start shooting. You have to try to read, cause that helps you create just like in your mind like okay this is what i want to do because you want to document details you want to document the bride in a robe you want to document um the bridesmaids and the bride in their robes you want to document the bride getting ready and then that's it for prep for the bride right that's it just those four but to do those four things you need to know which stage you're in and what situation is going on is she still doing makeup usually when she's still doing makeup you have like a, a solid hour so you could go quickly grab details, but if the makeup is done, you don't have an hour to right to grab details. So you need to start grabbing her in the bra in the robe, and right. then at some point, right, you have to jump back to grabbing the details. <laughs> you have to jump back to grabbing the details, right? So, and it's good for you to do that for both sides. So you want to check on the bride as the lead. You want to check because you're thinking big. You're not thinking just your little thing, right? So you want to check on the bride. You also want to make sure you understand what's going on with the groom. Is she like 40 minutes away? I mean, is he 40 minutes away or is he next door? Yeah. So you can't just leave it to your second shooter. Your second shooter is always looking for you, to you, for direction. Um, So you have to understand like the phase, what's going on. And then I like I, I started, I just stick to the tripod and and, and carry, um, carry on, especially with the 60 FPS. I just keep it simple. Like that's like... Don't overwork. Don't overthink it. When you overthink it, you, you mess up, right? If the shots aren't coming, just keep shooting. And then at some point, it'll start clicking. Or maybe it's not prep. Maybe it'll be the first look. You grab shots like they're like that, that are like, like solid. So like I've had weddings where it's just, it sucked for prep. I'm just like, well, I don't have any good content. But I'm like, at some point later on, I'm like, wait, oh, I have like first look. I have candidates. So I have good re reception shots. And I have them in the reception hall. Like, like that. at some point, you just have to think some things have to, maybe it's just the weather that's not beautiful in terms of the core and all that, but it's beautiful in terms of like, they love each other or like they have a lot of dancing. You're thinking content. So at some point, you're going to grab content. Either it's beautiful decor, they have love for each other, they love dancing. So it's like crazy party, or it's yeah. just always something, but you're constantly thinking, that's what I want to end up with. I want to end up with good content. Um. So like you want to document, like, so that's what you think, document people. So document what's happening, monopod, tripod, stuff like that. Audio recorders, we kind of went over that. But mostly for, I, I just, I mainly rely on monopod for prep, for recept, for first look, ceremony and reception. That's when I switch over to tripod. But for prep, I'm always thinking inhale. But yeah, so prep, monopod, keep it stupid simple. Like you just need natural lighting. You need to make sure you're stable so but your shots aren't that monocle, but you have tripod in there. Yeah, I know, but I just meant doc, that's why I said some of it is outdated. I used to use like a gimbal and stuff. I'm just like, yo, I'm gonna keep it simple. Like the gimbal, you're gonna use gimbal for the location shot, establishment shot, right? You're gonna use gimbal for the decor, right? You're gonna use gimbal for the dancing. You can't keep doing gimbal all day, right? You're gonna use the monopod for the prep, right? Yeah. And then you can use the handheld for like like just quick, like quick, quick, quick shots. So like I use the, this is a terrible, like so many shots are like, I gotta increase my shutter, but that's a handheld. This is an handheld shot. And like, it's at 60 FPS. But like, I can kind of slow it down a little bit right there, boom, boom. But I have like, all I do is I just, there was a table there and I I, I stole this from the photographer. Um, So like, I'm, this is the handheld, but I'm doing 120. Yeah. But she was just like, this is first, like when she put her robe on. And also she was wearing some weird, crazy outfit at first, but I'm like, yo, like when you're done with the makeup, can you switch into your robe? Because you're like, you can't record them in like some weird, like yeah, thing. But this shot is good for like the feature film, but like yeah. all this stuff, people in the background, like it's not nice. Yeah. yeah. 
and she was excited. So she was like, oh, let me just capture. So these shots are just like, like the documenting shot that I was talking about. Like she was just excited. She just got off the chair here and then she just switched out and she came out. The hair is still not done and all that. So we haven't even really started out like money shots yet. So you have to be cognizant of that. Like you, you want to grab the shots of like just documenting, sure. But the money shots, hair needs to be done. She needs to be wearing her robe. Makeup needs to be done. That's when you know you're starting for like the prime like butter shots. So I need you to retrain, like train your mind that way. You're documenting, but you haven't started like six shots. And just chill, it'll come natural. So like, yeah, sure, we're capturing. And like, you want to capture reaction shots. Like something's happening, right? The girls are like, and be in the moment. The girls are like, oh my, Ooh. and this is the first time in a row. So the girls are like, oh my God, she's, but then you're constantly thinking, wait, she's doing that, but what, what's going on with somebody else? What are they look, what they look like? So you want to capture reaction shots too. And I, again, I remember I texted, I always look for the, like the beautiful people with the beautiful smile. It's just like, please, it sounds crazy, but it's pleasing to the <laughs> eyes. But do that, you got to decide which shot do you want? Because what if she was doing something more interesting? No, all so it's all in the moment. At some point, you'll capture what's interesting, okay. right? So she, she, I've been capturing her here. Like I captured her here. Like, yeah, yeah. like so. And again, three to five seconds, right? It's enough, right? Yeah. So this is not like she's. And you have to think there's still speeches. There's candidates. Yeah. There's throughout the whole day. There's a whole bunch of content. But what you're looking for is just like okay, three to five second shots. She was like so excited to come out. Boom, capture that. And then this right here, she was dancing. It's a little overexposed, but I could bring it back down. But then what's important is like, she's dancing and then boom, I'll piece it with this. Yeah. But between that, I have like this, I have this shot, I have that. I have like her back, I have this. It's all like, well, this is 21 seconds though. but And this is 122, right? I'm sure, cause like money, money, beautiful shots. I quickly switched to 120, especially with like materials and stuff. Like I'm always thinking, ooh, like the the pattern moving and stuff like that. I'm always 69. thinking, is um, enough for you or what was that? 16. It's enough, but sometimes I, like I some like I always shoot like sixty now, but sometimes yeah. when I get like stuff moving, like yeah. like stuff like that, I'm like, oh wait, one twenty will be nice. So she had like a shot here, like where she walked towards us, like she did that stuff like that. I'm not saying I'll probably use that, but like this right here, I could probably use this. But it's moving, it's a beautiful and slow, and so shots like I could use. So again, document details, make sure she's definitely presentable. Look for details too. They, the bridesmaids had like a gift for her. So you wanna capture that. And then let's move to, so mid shots. So this is like a tight shot. I'll consider this a more tight. And I'm looking for pretty, pretty, like the skin tones. And this is only possible because remember we walked in and the place was mayhem. I was really excited. But I'm looking for like pretty, my eyes are always like pretty. One thing, like I said, I don't, I shoot monopod now. I put it on the floor. This is mad ugly. I'm cognizant of that. So I take it and then take it out of the shot. This is a mid shot, right? She's smiling. The light is hitting her from like the window side over here, yeah. right? The best case scenario would be to put the chair like on this side so the light could hit her directly, but that side is a whole bunch of dirtiness, right? It's a whole bunch of dresses. And so I don't want to use that side. So I want the light to hit her perfectly. So like I put the camera on the floor, right? I just put the camera on the floor and I make sure I tap and make sure I'm focused on her. This is a this is a tight shot, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll piece this with- uh, With the bad one. With, yeah, with the hurricane. So I'm thinking like, so I, I use this, I stood behind someone. So this is more, and I try to block out this stuff over here. Yeah. Like, but all this stuff will come in handy when I put like, especially with the bridesmaids laughing. Like I'm looking for a story, like what are they doing? Like, like are they smiling? Are they happy? They're taking a selfie, let me quickly run there and grab the selfie. Cause I saw this already and my eyes went straight to them. Like, oh wait, let me document that. So like she sat, so again, we brought the chair all the way from the back in front of the mirror, right? So it's all staged. So we brought a chair all the way and this was already hung up and I never carry dresses out anymore. I just leave it. Like I like it on her better. She looked, yeah. it looks better that way, but I'd rather capture it on her. Yeah. Like flowers that helps with, so this is all handheld, like 60 FPS when I slow it down, like it, it'll make sense. 
So and I'm looking at what she's doing. They decided pulling the hair down. She has this thing out. And I asked her, like, what is that? She said, oh, it's just for the headpiece. I'm like, I thought it was like a gift or something like that, but it's just a headpiece. <laughs> um, again, yeah, just broke a shot. Yeah, so like this is the chair. This chair was all the way in the back. We brought it up, made sure we carried the two chairs. And I did it because the light is right here. Because mm -hmm. I put her here because, because the light is right here. And we moved all the chairs and everything so it's like clean and solid. So the best way to put her would be either right here because the light would hit her right here. And now that comes later on. Right here. This is where you see the like best. You see how the skin tone... You saw the skin tone looks great right here. Yep. That's because the light is hidden from here. Wow. If you put her like over here too, like right in front of the window, it'll yeah. be fine too, but it's just that back is ugly. So we push this chair. Huh? That is a dope shot. Yeah. So like this is the best. This, to me, like I could work all day with this, but then yeah. creativity too. You see these mirrors right here? You always want to think creative. So this is like the white shot of her saying. And I had to tell the girl in the back to move. You see, you see her tapping. Did you see her watch? You see her tapping her right there. Yeah, because I told him, hey, you guys got to move because you're in the shot, right? So I had them move, and I'm like, okay, now I want to get the shot. Boom. Are you handheld right now? What was that? Are you handheld? Yeah, it, this is all monopod or handheld. Anything that's moving is monopod and handheld. Monopod, monopod is strictly just this. Yeah, same thing. Pick yourself up. Perfect. Look out the window. This is the tight shot now, right? Yeah. Just like that, fix yourself up. Then this is the mid yeah. shot, right? I don't know if I have a wide. I don't. I don't. That's the only thing I'm missing here. So all what I did here was, like, hey, all you're gonna do is turn a little bit, and then I just want you to fix right here. But the thing is, it needs to be composed first, perfectly. I would probably move this. I would. I should have moved this. Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. Yeah, there you go. I didn't. Because <laughs> I'm like, this is in the shot. And then, like, I would just have her touch it. Boom. That's it. That's the shot. Bring your hand up again and go right back. Perfect. And I'm doing this too. Like, bring your hand up again and then go right back and fix it. So that's like the shot is. And I'm recording while this is happening. Right here. This is a shot right here. Done. Right here. And boom. That's the shot. So this is pretty because of all this extra stuff. Um, and then the girl is like, beautiful. You're thinking beautiful. It's You want like bubbles and rainbows in your head. And like, that's kind of how I love shooting, like happy, happy colors. So like, I'm looking for like, oh wait, she's pretty. Let me get like lovey-dovey. Like, let me get them like passing like toys. I don't know, they, they're just naturally doing this. But, um, but that's cute. That's like bubbles, rainbows. It makes you happy and stuff. <laughs> That's emotions and stuff. So I'm looking for anytime I see a, like a little bridesmaid, I'm like, oh yeah, this is content. So I need to capture her because it's, like, it's cute. Yeah. So I capture her again. And then, but anyways, yeah, so you call this little people and I have her looking towards the light. That's intentional. I can't have her look back into the room because it'll be dark. Right? Always look towards the light. Always. Um, it, the best, again, is her facing the light, but the angles need to make sense. So she's facing the camera. It's still well lit, but she's looking toward the light. What time is it? 39. 39. Um, I was like, oh, I just saw this her in the hallway and the lamb just captured her. And I get a I got a tight shot. Yeah. So I got a wide shot and I got a tight. This is more like a mid, but I got a mid shot and then I got a tight shot. So I could piece it together. And then the photographer caught this. It was just like her, this bridesmaid. She was like, she was like so happy in front of the mirror. Um, mirror, yeah. And then now we left, and this is the rope. This is the rope shot. I had a light though, so I did light them up. But this is standard. This is monopod. No gimbal, no nothing. Why? Because I could just push in and post. Smiling again on this one. Yeah, true. Yeah. And then want to do some got like they're what they're gonna be doing here is. Like last yeah, it's like on the if I turn on the light or is it is it 120? No, it's just just 60. This is okay. all 60. Once in a blue moon, I'll throw 120 in there for me, but so 60. 
but they're gossiping. This is like, girl, like, and we had her intention. So, over, um, increase my um, ISO here, exposure here. So we had her. She was. She looked right towards her left, but that was not showing this. This right here, the headpiece. Oh yeah. So we had her intentionally look left. Why? Because it's prettier to see. So it's just. And then we had them pushed in, and that's this is the, the photographer set all of this up. Nice. I'm just stealing these shots, and I'm adjusting when I need to. Right? That that's that they have an eye, so might as well just steal it, and then I'll get better when I when I'm with a videographer that's a photographer that's not ex, as experienced. I'll set it up, but they're like so much better than me with their eyes. They see things. Let me show you why. There was a shot here with the bridesmaids. That I there were like 12 of them, so I wanted all of them to fix That's them up. The so I set this up myself. Yeah. So, right, I'm a little under okay, now I'm a little over, but there's so many of them, that's why I uh, exposed a little bit. But so this is blown, this is blown out. But so I had them do this. The photographer's like, you know what, let me fix this. Guess what? He did that. Oh, nice, yeah. You see how this is so much, and it's a little overexposed, but I could, I could bring down the yeah. Um, shadows a little bit and so it's like melanin so like, it looks a little bit better like just, it's overexposed here but it's just so much better he arranged it the same exact shot that i set up right. he just did it better right. and we want her looking that way more right this way more because of that also that's dope yeah right and then there and i set this up but this is what i did so the difference between that and that is just so that's what I mean by like they have the eye. So like I'm still in it, and the angles, I'm still in everything. And just looking for content. This is beautiful. Like what she was doing here. I can't wait to. I'm gonna use this. Like I can't wait to use it. Like she was just, and she was doing this already. It's just a matter of us. I don't like how I was shown here. Okay, I hit myself. But. I'm just stealing this shot. But she was already here doing that. I'm like, oh, wait. The photographer noticed it first. I'm like, holy crap. Let me quickly run here. And then we grabbed it. So we had her just do it again. Just do it. Spin, spin again, spin again. So, like, I could 60F. I could slow it down. I grabbed the part that's in focus. You got to keep doing that dance, honey. Oh, gosh. I'm so shaky. Like, boom, right here. Right there. That's a beautiful smile. And I'll piece it with maybe that or... But I'll just make it work. So the bed shot, that's the rope shot. So we already captured these shots, right? And this is the ring. So this is where I want to record more. So people are laughing. People are yelling. Um, and this is a wide shot. I'm going to show people laughing. People, And hey, this is staged. This is, don't, don't assume this is happening by chance. We had her sit here intentionally, right? The light is in her, hitting her. The best place would be for her, the bridesmaids, the 12 of them. We had, because they were all everywhere. We had them. I had to, I did this actually. I forced them to come all the way here. Because why? I can't just, first of all, I'm thinking they're giving her a gift. I can't just have one of them here and then they look at it. It's the bridesmaids giving her a gift. So I wanted every single one of them in the shop. Why? Because I know I'm going to get all of this. Now, it sucks that they kind of backlit and I should have stayed here more to the right and shot shot at them. Mm -hmm. But I had to go just pan left and right. So I'm like, we'll just make do with this. Like I said, break the rule. You have to capture what you have to capture at the end of the day. But it stays. I had them come all the way out. And it's perfect. Now she wants to give every single one of them a hug. Like I, just like, I don't like it dark. So I'm like, I'd rather have it like a little brighter than Like this is how you should shoot it, I guess right here but mm -hmm. it's ugly to me already i don't want to do too much work in post so if i overexpose a little bit it's a little bit better i guess like right here like this is dark this is how you this is probably how you shoot it this is how you should but i just like it like this a little bit more so she did this hug i'm like let me capture it but then and then we moved on to this but like i said the hair is done everything before we did the gift these are the shots we want to get right these are like now I'm ready to shoot white because she's in the rope and I had her put her heels on, right? Because she would just naturally not wear heels. I'm like, heels, it just props her up. She looks sexier with heels. So I have her make sure she has her heels on. And what time is it? 45. Got 15 more minutes. The biggest thing we have to focus on, anyways, is the prep for you. I believe you have like, oh, the ceremony too. The setup. But you you do that with Femi too, right? So he kind of took, and you do that with me. So you kind of see where I stand. Yeah. yeah. The where I stand, what I do, that's where you're going to be. And then you're going to, because that's, 
if we lose my sh- my angle, it's a wrap. Mm. Right. So whatever angle you're shooting, that's the most important angle. So that's not creative. That's documenting. Yeah. For the live event, for the ceremony. I'm not talking about the prep. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like boom, that's one shot right here. Um, and then we had her stand again. We're always using this specific. It's okay, it's redundant, but keep using the, the place with natural light. Because you're only gonna use one or two shots from here, anyways. Right. Boom. And then we had to do this, the walk-in thing. And this is great because it's slow motion. So like I may use this, but it might be a little bit boom. But I may use that. But I had because I know it's gonna be flow. So I want you to throw it and I want you to walk. And like I'll use that part right there. Yeah. But um the shots, the most important yeah. shots here, like I I didn't do this well. But maybe if I if I had done 120, it might be better. I'll just use right there to right right here to right here. Right there, yeah. But like people are in the background, and that's something I didn't catch. Maybe like right here. Yeah. But like I'm using the mirror, right and then oh yeah. So and again, this is a tight shot, right? Reaction. And I'm just having to look towards the light, and, and it's simple. Don't overthink it. She's in the same. As long as you have great light in, and she yeah. just ends, just document. Mm-hmm. Like just have a look towards the light. Like this would be perfect example right here. So this is typically what I do with the groom. Right. So I just make sure I'm exposed properly. And I just have her fixing her earrings and looking out the window. You're happy. So that's so why I get that smile from her. She's not just like strict. And it's just like I just a little, little pan up, pan down. That's it. Nothing complicated. You're so beautiful. Da, 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 and I just pop, pan up to that. That's it. So simple. I'm documenting that because that's cute. The mother came. The mother came in the shot to give her a hug. I definitely want to make sure I'm recording. I, I didn't even know I was on 120 here, but I was like, yo, I got to quickly capture it. Um, creative shot, that mirror. You also want, also want to look for creative shot, right? I don't know how you do, what are you using, a prism? No, no, no. The, the mirror, this mirror right here, uh-huh. if you put the camera up against right here, oh, okay. you'll, you'll get that. So it's a matter of like when she was doing the hair. So I had her, like, you see my hands pointing. So you're going to look straight. You're going to look straight. And I, I brought the makeup artist in this. So this is a stage shot, right? Yeah. So we could have captured that makeup. You know, when you walked in mm-hmm. and the, the makeup is like right on the left side, we could have captured that, but that's ugly, right? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, right in the back, right here. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. But and she had like the thing, but we're not gonna we're gonna stage it. We're gonna make sure she looks beautiful in the robe, hair done, and then we're gonna get the makeup shot. And so this is standard makeup shot. So again, I'm using around 50, 50 here. Never shoot below 35 for human beings for prep. Okay. Right. Never unless it's dancing, dancing, dancing. Do not, I don't, that's just ugly. They look like stick figures to me. That's right. I just hate that look. So 50 will give you that. We'll give you this. Okay. So you want to compose the rule of thirds, line, line, line. So, so you, you understand the rule of thirds? Yeah. Yeah. So just place them, place them on. You can place them on this side looking that way. You could place them on this side looking this way. Yeah. Right. So just wherever the light is, right? Look towards the light and then you place them accordingly. And then I had the makeup artist come all the way. And I'm moving the makeup artist here. I'm, I had to come all the way in front. Right. See, I'm like blocking the stuff in the back because it's so ugly back there. Dresses and vacuums and stuff um but this is a great shot the light she's looking towards the light and rule of thirds she's like halfway here instead of like smack dead in the mirror yeah. which is boring and then I, again i'm popping in and out these are all tight shots because i have a bunch of mid shots right this is ugly but she was just doing stuff so i'm like let me capture that so that that's a good shot right there right from like right here to right here um so like this shot I'm like, you see, you see my camera a little bit. So what I'm going to have her do is look straight. You're going to look straight. <laughs> like I'm saying it as I'm doing it, right? I'm like, you're going to look straight, right? And what you're going to do is when I say go, you're going to, I'm talking to makeup artists now. When I, when, I, when I say go, what? and I, I always tell her to lean forward because if it did like slouched, it's ugly. So I have her like shifted forward for posture. So she's straight up. It's not like, like that. She's like straight up. Right, so what, what I t- I'll tell them make about hey, so when I say go, you're gonna stick your hand in and apply it towards the thing. When I pull your hand out and stick your hand, in. all I need is that motion of her hand coming in, right? 
And then I did it, I try to do it perfectly while I'm just panning up and she's doing it, right? So that's one shot right there, mm -hmm. right there, boom. But I cut off the head ball, okay, I'm, I'm panning up. That's one shot right there. And I'm kind of trying to like, I'm just trying to like pan, just move, just make it look beautiful. And I just hate, it, hate that people are in the background with this shot. So I, now I'm trying to, again, you see, I'm, I'm directing her. This is the part where you have to be vocal. Cause you're like, wait, I need a beautiful shot. But what makes the shot look more beautiful is why is she looking? Is her hand coming into the shot and she's looking straight. Yeah. So that's the makeup shot. So I'm like, okay, her hands were already here. So I'm going to have her, I could tell I'm going to have her pull back out again. There you go. Now, now I'm cutting it even more. It's important your composition. You don't want to like show too much behind, behind them. And I'm doing different things because I'll pick the best shot because now I'm showing like the page fully like I have her completely on the left side. So now I'm going to have her hand come in and I'm just going to push in. The only issue with this, is, the people in the background, I hate that. And I kind of try to cut them off. But now I'm showing this. It may not be as beautiful, but so between. So I'm just trying different things here. You can do this with like any mirror that has like like the graven things on the edges of it. You could do this with a human being. You could block, well, not with the double shots though, but you could just block them off. I'm always cognizant of what's in the back and of my go. camera. Look out the window. So I just had to like, just fix the rope, bring the rope forward and pull it back and then look out the window. Ready and go. So I might use this one. I like this one better. Because someone, if someone's actually taking a picture versus like just being randomly in the background. And go. But we'll slow it down and see what it looks like. But these are like my opinion, these are like one of the like shots. Pick yourself up. Yeah. I'm gonna use Perfect. one. I'm gonna look out the use window. Did you hear me talking? Yeah. Just like that. Fix yourself up. To me, this yeah. is like the best lighting. Right? It could be a picture here, it could be a like nothing here, like I, this pops because of all the greenery. It just, and you're thinking contrast. You're looking at pictures in the background. When it, if it's just too plain, it's ugly. You could bring a picture in. You could find a place where there's picture. I had a wedding where I had to go find a location. It was, I don't have it right now. Like it wasn't up. upstairs. I had yeah. to bring it downstairs and find a place, up. find a place with great like contrast. So it's not just like one just like that. Fix itself wall. up. Yeah. The reason why this pops is because it's green. The, the reason why this pops is because it's green in the background. What time is it? Six minutes left. Um, I'm just trying different things. Like I have walking to the frame. As you can see, I, I'm handheld. That's why it's like so shaky. Yeah. Right. But like I have so many different shots that I'm like, okay, one of this is gonna work. And I think I'm probably on the mono. I switched to a monopod. You can tell when I switched to a monopod because I'm, I'm mid. I can't try mid and held. Like carrying a camera, try to shoot a mid shot. It's like, it's like, like mad shaky. So I'm on a monopod now and I'm like high up looking down. And I'm making sure, even though I'm cutting off her head here, it's kind of bad, but now I'm like switched to monopod. This is probably a monopod like too. Yeah. Up. This is a monopod. Yeah. You see how stable it is? Now look out the window. It gives me that stability and I don't have to push in. Why? Because I could push it in post. I could just like slowly like um, scale in. And then the wedding dress, classic, like I said, is just want to capture people helping her out. And this is all staged. It's always, you notice we're only using, we're always using here, right? You know, we're always using this area, right? Yeah. Right, because that's the best area. We're not just like, oh. Because we before she went, when she went back, we already like, okay, let's use this spot. So it's very intentional. You're not just documenting. Like, where is she going to be? The, the, when you walk in, these are things that should confuse you. Where am I going to shoot? The, not so much details yet, but where is she going to be? Where's the, I look for the light. I this light, I turned it on for one shot and I turned it back off. Perfect, right here. So you see how like, you see how intentional it is? I turn on the light because I'm like, wait, maybe a pop in the background would be nice. Especially when the natural light is next to her, it'll separate her. But it's like, eh, I don't know. It, it just puts a cast, a yellowish. So I'm like, eh, I don't like it. Right? So if you notice the next shot, I turned it off. Yeah. You see, it's it's very, very intentional. And then this is after all this, all these extra, like, regular shots and stuff like that. Which will be great for the feature film. 
So with her in a wedding gown, you're literally, you can shoot with the light, but you make sure you expose for her. You're not shooting a silhouette. It'll look like very angelic, but as you can see, it's better to have her not. You're okay with the window being blown out? Once in the blue moon, right? Like for one to two shots, right? Because she, when I walked in the room, she was already here. So let me, let me just capture this. And her skin is properly exposed. It's not a silhouette shot. Like it's not this. Yeah. Or, like this is a little bit more exposed. One shot, sure. But like what I'm what I care more about is shifting her to where the light is, which is right here. You see how the light hits her perfectly here? And her body is angled intentionally towards the light. And she can look back. Now she can look back towards mom. She looks straight. She looked down, making sure she keeps this body profile. But she looked straight. She looked back. What time is it? Three minutes. Like, this is my shot. The light is fine, but a better shot is this. Because it's now more. I'm going to take this with me. I'm going to, like, a puppet to a I'm going to remember this when I shoot somebody, something else, when I have, like, six of them. So I could have them kind of, like, opened up a little bit. And this is just way more beautiful. They don't need to all be touching her, which is what I was thinking. You see? You see her hand? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh, you guys must be touching something. It's more in a pose. It's more in a concept. So that's something I'm taking with me. And then when she's by herself. Look at my camera. My camera. Like, again, monopod, pan out. Simple. Keep it stupid simple. That's the, that's the mid shot. That's a wide shot. That's a tight shot. Always looking towards the light. You notice that, right? She's always standing close around the mirror. I love this pop right here. You got one minute or two minutes. Yeah, yeah. so you know you were there when we did this. Oh. I was freaking out. You saw me freaking out here because I didn't yeah. have great lighting. It actually looks good though. Yeah, no, no, of course, yeah, because I shot in Kelvin and uh -huh. you had your light. Ah, uh, yeah. So this was in Kelvin 3200 when it's indoors. Yeah. When it's indoors, 3200. When it's outdoors, 56. I'm going to try to start doing more Kelvin now. And then obviously, oh, this is shot everyone gets putting your shoes on and stuff like that. But the butter shot to me is this one. Go back to that first slide so we can, I just want to get it for the recording. So this one, preparation controlled yeah, so secondary. So five. Cause you create both creatively shoot in here and um, controlled, controlled, controlled. Um, and again, this is controlled cause you, First of all, you could, you could tell them to stand here, you can stand them, but for a ceremony reception, you can't. You just got to document. Yeah. Well, well, the the first look, the first, like, run, that's not controlled, though, right? Would the first look? No, no, it's always controlled in terms of stand here. So this is the first look. This is a 180 rule. You don't want oh, people yeah. here. Okay. Okay. Right? You don't want people here because they're going to be in your shot. So you have the tight lens shooting. Oh, okay, this is where you're standing. You're kind of standing off to the side. Yeah. using a tight lens a really tight lens up top and then you have a reaction angles right this is your second shooter this is you this is a lead this is the um a tripod could do the shot right because he's gonna she's gonna walk up to him and he's gonna turn around and see her a tripod will capture that right so you have to tell your shooter the first time just stand and record and make sure you give them space so you're not cutting them off because he could back up and then she goes out of space yeah. So the first look, uh, the reaction you want to get is always the bride's reaction. So right here, what you're doing is you capture him, but um, before she comes into frame, she's behind this. You're just capturing all of this. So this is your angle. This is the angle. And then you use your eyes, right? So she's walking up, right? You can pan low and then get, get up, or you could just keep it static and make sure you rack focus, make sure, making sure she's in the foot. You make sure, making sure you tap and focus as she's working towards him. Yeah. Right? And then when she gets here, He's going to turn around and then boom. I'm going to mix this with, let's say they have a waterfall. They have like a fountain. You have a location shot. You're going to mix it all. Then it all makes sense. Yeah. But situational, he's standing looking this way. You're standing off to the side. So you're not standing directly in front of him. Yeah. You stand off to the side so you can see her as she walks towards him. I remember how exactly how you did uh, mine. Okay. Like you were off to the side, you were off the side, but I was still in frame. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And then she walks in the frame. And then she walks in. I'll try, I'll try to send you this. She walks in. Make sure he's mic'd up also. 
Yeah. And then the second time you carry your gimbal and then you use a gimbal, you carry a gimbal and maybe stand in front of her as she walks towards him and have her smile. Right. Um, first uh, ceremony procession. I don't remember. I don't know if you remember where Femi was. Typically when you have three cameras, but we only have two, right? One right here and one right here in the back on the same side. Right. And you can't be right here because you're uh, not in yeah. the shot. Yeah, yeah. You have to back up. Right. Yeah. Your job is to capture people walking in from here. This prime, this is your job. This is creative. If we lose this angle, it's fine. If we lose this angle, it's a wrap, mm -hmm. right? So your yeah. primary here, if we lose this angle, we kind of make it work. But if we lose this angle of her walking in, it doesn't work. If we lose the bright angle, it doesn't work. If we lose the groom, all we need is just the groom walking later on. But if we lose any of the bright shots, it's a wrap. So your, your job is very important. So she walks in, the bride walks in, nothing changes. Remember the pan shot? So you have to let your shooter know to grab the pan shot, right? Yeah. And then boom, that's it. Then ceremony. When she gets to like about right here, the bride walks in, she gets to right here. Your second shooter needs to run all the way up to capture the exchange, the father hand off the, the bride to the groom. Does that make sense? Yeah. You I'm, just just thinking, I'm just thinking how we did in the other one. I think I, I just came up. On the I, I don't, yeah, you came up straight up right here. The best angle would be either here or right here because yeah. you can see um, the groom is going to be right here because you're, you're capturing somebody's back. You grab capturing the bride's back. So she starts walking in. She gets right here. Second shooter right here runs all the way. I should have told you. I just didn't tell you. I saw you, but you were right. I was looking like, where is he? Like expecting you to know some for some reason that's why it's, it's very good if you have time for you to talk to the second shooter what they're doing yeah so your job is just to back up right here boom record 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 just a pan a tripod could do it just pan pan the bride comes in you pan and she gets right here and then you slowly do the parallax shot right you just slowly capture a pan shot don't don't overthink it they don't get it they don't get it but then you go right here you she runs all the way out right here abby she's your second shooter Right. Again, at minimum for the groom, just capture them walking. That's literally all I need. Mm -hmm. While you weren't there, I captured this. So I just had him look to just grab the bow tie. It's kind of way too close, but it was like awkward looking mad close to me. So I had him look left. So then I'm like, okay, this works better because he's like, why is he in my face? So this is better, like looking that way. Candid's work with the photographer grab candidates um but you you had one solid shot with the gimbal kind of like this but i'm just on a monopod or a handheld i'm handheld right here actually the gimbal gimbal just gets worn out like what's better is 50 mm right a tight so that's why your gimbal is perfect so it doesn't start like this he's looking towards him but um i mean what's more important the ceremony yeah did you uh, did you direct them on those shots? Like, look yeah, of course. This is all me. This is like me because I took stand right here. Um, put put your right hand in your pocket. Open your hands out. Right, that's one shot. Uh -huh. Right, and then she's gonna walk to you so towards you. I, she purposely didn't have her in frame, so I had her walk into the frame. So you're gonna grab his hands, gonna pull each other, and, and you're gonna and you're gonna kiss. Bread. Bread. Say hi. Hi. Oh, man. <laughs> And then boom, the kiss. So that's that. That's one shot. And then, what's what does he see? Right? What's his perspective? I probably won't use these shots, but I was running. I was like, let me just get some unique shots. Times it. What does he see? And then what does she see? Right? It's yeah. kind of awkward, but <laughs> <laughs> it's cheesy to smile. Right? Yeah, but then I had her grab his hand and then pull in and kiss. Right. And then I'm looking for that, like I want you to rub your and, and I'm this is how I grab the ring shot, ring shot, right? It doesn't have to, so instead of getting it earlier, I get it right now, right? Uh, yeah. So and this is like shallow depth of field two two f two, mm -hmm. two eight will do two and like this is like a fifty. I st for human beings I stick to thirty five fifty. The photographer did this. He he set this up, and I'm like, oh, let me try to see where I could get. So I'm like, okay, this is one. I'm sure no 120 now. If you're gonna be handheld with a couple, you might as well do 120. It doesn't hurt. Yeah. Especially when you're outside, like you're gonna use the f um shutter of 250 anyway. So that's even better. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Boom. That's right shot right there. So I'm composing it where it's like I'm not cutting off the head so much, or I'm not. It's not awkward. It's like parallel to the line. It's not perfect, but 
And then they're looking at each other. I'm still in the photographer. The photographer's literally in front of me. And I'm like on top of, I carry the camera up. And I'm like, okay, all right, let me just frame it. I'm just getting different shots. See how like that's somebody's head right there. I'm just above them. I'm like, okay, let me put them on the right side. It's just I'm just trying different things. Then it's my turn. I'm like, and they they did a great job of letting me do my thing. I didn't have to bark at them because I always, if you don't let me get my shot, I'm gonna bark because I need to get my shot. So that's your rule. So you need to be more assertive. You're gonna piss people off, but try not to do it in front of a couple. But just they're gonna get mad. You're gonna talk about it later on, but you're gonna let me get my shot. I'm gonna get my shot. Okay, if you don't let me get my shot, we're gonna argue. <laughs> like that, there is no I need to get my shot. So that's so you're not just always leaning back. If you're not getting these shots, you you have to force it. So that, that's when you work with a photographer that's like all about him. So this is a wide shot, and that's fine. This could be a gimbal shot, but that's why like now I don't need I don't I just need handheld 120. Or monopod i don't need a 50 a 60 fps i don't need the gimbal so like with that gimbal too with the camera is perfect but carrying it around is just too much sometimes and then these are intimate shots this is totally different from all these like what time is it Seven, nine. all these like wide shot like so like so this is different from those. now I'm, now i'm shooting the gimbal because i already have so like now if you mix the tight from the day from this and that and it all makes sense because you could grab all these shots here. So like I so this right here, like oh yeah, I don't know why you do something where you just like Ready, look with this location, you go left to right. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh, 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 oh. So, so do you do you hear that? So I was like, put your leg here, right? You're gonna like you you these shots you can even frame it. Well you it's recorded. You can frame like I have pictures on my phone of photographers where I just look at poses. These are all poses you need to like, you could, I like it just had a wedding where he brought the pictures of, oh, okay, let's do this. Can you do this? You're gonna stand here and you show the bride. So you wanna like pose the shots. This is a great shot her standing. What makes it better is me pushing in. And as I'm pushing in, her hand is rubbing up. And this is something I told her to do. R slide your hand up, right? And as you slide it up, you're gonna kiss. And I told him, your hand behind her back, you're gonna pull her close to you and kiss. Why? Because I saw him go like that. Mm. I saw him do that. I'm like, wait, let me just still that. So like when I say, when I push in, you're going to slide your hand up. And you're going to kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Ow, 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 ow. I got mad close here, though. <laughs> it's the Hermione in me. Uh, <laughs> chill out. <laughs> Now I'm like, okay, let's let's do the gimbal, man. Let's really do the gimbal. So it's all push in shot. It's always two, three shots. Push in, pull out, parallax, left, parallax, right. That's it. Never want to just with a gimbal with candids, you never just want to stand. Right? Yeah. Unless you're handheld, you just slight, slight movements, but you always want to push and push up. Okay. Reception, what you did here, you um you um what you did with your angle by the way your camera looks crazy nice man holy crap uh, no way <laughs> your, your camera i'm gonna use this angle for that thing we did a walk off shot because they're tall they're tall so it looks better Go. so what you did here i just want to adjust something you're gonna be i need you to be on this for the reception what you're gonna do is just you started off well, yeah. right? They danced in, you followed them. Sorry, right here. You pan, you follow them. You're gonna keep doing that. Why? Because the back is just for backup. For oh, okay. So yeah, keep doing I thought that. about it. I thought I was getting you at one point. Yeah. But what you ended up doing is you at some point you just came and just um you stopped. And you, no, for for the gimbal shot, you're gonna follow all the way. Okay, got you're it. For just you're capturing all the entrances. Now nah, the photographer said something like, "Oh, let's stay over here." I need to capture. I need to, if sure we could be side by side, maybe we could be side by side. But I need to capture the shot. I'm not like these are the shots I'm looking right, right here. Boom, boom, boom. I don't care about the 7200. That's boring, especially with action and stuff. But yeah, that's it. All right, man.